Hello, I'm Tim HD. In this video, I'm reacting of my brother Nathan Hickman, The Christmas Story, Part 3. I know it's not Christmas yet, but we were hyped about this. And I helped with this thumbnail. Enjoy the video smile. So wait, you saw the maid dead in the quarantine room? Well, yes. I mean, there was blood and everything. But we don't know how she got killed. The docking boat left us and won't come back till morning. So how are we going to survive till then? We should come up with a plan to survive. Alright, fine. But please don't make it among us, reference, because the game is dead. <sighs> Something feels off about this mention. Is he wearing a mate's outfit? Among Us isn't a dead game! Then why is the hype of the community dead? People still play Among Us? What are you talking about? How long have they, they been would, arguing we for? Would see videos God, that was trippy. Why are you guys looking at me? And where have you been, mister? Um, I, I was in the bathroom. Oh, please, you're being extra suspicious. Now tell us the truth, Tim, or else. All right, fine, I'll tell you. <sighs> there was a giant spider chasing me, and I think it's Telemon. The host? It can't be, he's checking up on dinner. I guess you're right. I mean, he's not looking for us right now. <clears throat> hmm? There you guys are. Oh my god, I guess he did find us. Sorry it took so long. I was ready, but you guys were gone. But why are you guys here? You're a monster, Telemon. Why would you kill your own maid in the quarantine room? What are you talking about? There's no one in the quarantine room. The maid's gone. Where is she, Telemon? Where's the body? What body? If I were you, I would keep your mouth shut, or else we'll find a lawyer. Yeah, sure, if Roblox has lawyers. I didn't kill anybody! Oh my god! Is this what laggy people see all the time? Oh! What is oh, that? Go? that? Huh? Uh, what? what? <gasps> Look! Nobody touched the knife. It could be deadly. So Telemon murdered the maid and he murdered himself. Crisscross. No, Tim, don't you see? He didn't kill anybody and he obviously didn't kill the maid either. Uh, what do you mean, Nate? All I'm saying is Telemon's not the killer. The killer is one of us. Wait. Why do you think it's us? Because the main characters of a horror film is usually the killer. Uh, our friends are gone. Uh, 
I can't believe all of our friends are gone. But that doesn't mean they're dead yet. So we just need to find them and get out of here. Not to mention we need to find our killer too. Exactly. Which is why I have a plan. Brady, you and Pixel will go and find our friends while me, Tim, and Blue find clues. Alright. Come on, Pixel, let's go. You guys ready for some clues? Heck yeah! Something wrong, Tim? I'm not coming with you, Nate. But why? Seeing the spider earlier in Telemont's mansion, I kind of felt overworked. But Tim, we can't do this without you. We need you. I just can't. It's okay, just meet us outside. Okay, I'm positive our friends are in the installation room. Wait, how do you even know? Look behind you. Oh, would you look at that? Let's go in. Why would Telmon have all this? I don't know, man. Maybe it's just his hobby or he just works at an asylum. Let's just find some clues to where our friends are. Got it. Whoa! Pixel, you alright, man? Whoa, what is that? Those are trees upside down, pretty much normal. But Nate, look, the bunker might give us some answers on what's been going on in the mansion. Nate, look. Hmm. Old TV and no streaming, and it's on. Hello, if you're watching this, you're in danger. Uh, as someone who has been in this mansion for years, I think I can probably tell you who has been doing all of this. Something feels off. Wasn't he in the same bunker that we're in right now? What do you mean? Something doesn't make sense. Like, how do you know that the bunker might have some clues? Unless... I... I'm sorry. For what? <gasps> Whoa! Hey, Nate. Tim, wh what's going on? I pretty much got captured. But where is everyone? Look above you. What is going on? I know who did this. It's me. After being shut in for thousands of years, left alone, forgotten, I can finally give revenge on you two and anyone else you care about. I'm pretty sure we talked on Discord for a while now, Nathan. It's been years, but I finally found you. Zach? That's my name. Don't wear it out. But why? I have never done anything to you. You don't get it, don't you? You're a terrible friend, Nate. Which is why I'm about to tell you a story of my terrible past. It was years ago. Back when I was really poor. I had no friends. I wasn't born with a family. I was pretty much alone, with no food and no water. But then a dog came in and made life easier for me. He started playing around, I bought him gifts. Man, life was easier. But then one night while I was sleeping, a white van pulled up and there were people who stole the dog. But once I woke up, he was gone. And I never saw him since. You see, this is what the new generation is like. People are mean, people don't care about other people's feelings, they will steal their dogs in a minute. Zach, we're sorry. Honest. But that doesn't mean you can take advantage of the both of us. Oh, oh, you think it's just me who did this? None of this wouldn't happen if it was for one of your friends. What the age are you talking about? This was a trap, Nathan. 
One of your friends has been lying to you, which is why I'm going to introduce you to him. Hey, Nate. It, it can't be. I'm so sorry. Oh, boo-hoo, one of your friends betrayed you. But enough of that. It's time to get serious. Hmm, what to do, what to do. Oh, I know. Blue, why don't you take Nathan with you and kill him instantly? Leave the other one to rot. <gasps> Come on, let's go. Listen, we don't have much time. We have to save your friends and get out of here. Oh, please! Why should I trust you? You betrayed us. You betrayed me. So messed up. I know. I'm so sorry, Nate. He was taking advantage of me. I don't want to kill you because you're my best friend. I want to stand up to him. But I can't do this alone. I need your help. Please. <sighs> of course I'll help you. You're my best friend. Well, well, well. Looks like my sidekick has failed me once again. If you're not willing to kill Nathan, then I'll kill both of you. Starting with you, betrayer. Nathan, get your friends and get out of here. But I can't lose you. I have to stay. Please, just go. Okay, I'll miss you. Are you willing to kill your life just for your friends? Yes, yes I am. If I can't live, you can't. Still thinking about him, huh? Yeah, I miss him so much. Dude, how do you move on from someone's death? Listen, Nate, he may be gone, but he's still with us. He will always be part of your life. You just gotta remember, I guess you're right. You're a good friend. Come, I think Tim is playing doors with Jack. Let's go meet him.